Hello and welcome. This is Varun, Technical Advisor, Design and Prototyping and Educational Consultant for Twittermatch.com. In this session, we will be learning how to animate around an object and saving the video. In the animation part of AutoCAD, it is very important to have a path in which the animation has to be done. That means, we must prescribe a path so that the camera can move along the path. As you can see here in these two figures like this, a path has been described around the object to animate the camera around it. Now once we are on to the animation path menu, we will find the options like this. So there are few points that you have to note before doing the animation. The first one is link the camera to. That means if you want to link the camera to a path or a point. If you are linking the camera to a path, that means the camera will be moving along the path. If you are moving to a point, that means the camera will be fixed at a point. Normally we use path so that the camera can move along the object and make it as an animation. The next one is target. Target is very important while deciding the animation. The first one is to a point. That means the camera will be pointing towards a particular point while moving along that path. Suppose if you want to look at the object while moving around, you can give the point option showing the object. Now the next one is path, that means the camera will be viewing only the path which it is traveling through. This is mainly used in having the walk through animations in civil drawings. The next one is these three settings. These settings determines the quality of the video which is generated. The first one is frames rate, that means how many frames do you want per second. The maximum frames per second available in the software is 60. That means 60 frames or 60 photographs will be displayed in a second. The next one is number of frames. That means how many numbers of frames you want. This determines the number of duration. That means if you determine the number of frames, automatically determines the duration. And similarly, if you give the duration here, it will determine the number of frames. So I recommend you to give the duration rather than giving the number of frames. The next one is visual style. How do you want to see the object when it is animated? Do you want it as wireframe, do you want it as rendered, or you want it as shaded, you can select it from here. The next one is format. In which format do you want to save your video? It can be WMV or AVI. And the last one available here is resolution. Resolution determines the quality of the rendered animation video, which you can select it from here. It's always better to have a preview before saving the video, so that you can check whether the camera is moving and the animation is made according to your need. Now let's see these options in the software. Consider an object like this. Now if you want to make a camera to move around this object and make as an animation, you have to first determine the path. So in order to draw the path, I will make use of 3D polyline like this. You can also make use of lines but don't forget to join all the lines together to make it as a 3D polyline. So I will start my line from here, like this, and come over here like this. So always remember, in order to get the lines in 3 dimension, you have to make your ortho mode on. So I will press F8 to make the ortho mode on like this. So now it's moving towards the Y axis like this, then I will go towards the X axis like this. Now I will go towards upside that is in the plus Z direction like this. So let me make some random moves so that the camera can move easily around in 3 dimension all over the object and make a better view like this. Correct. Now let me rotate it around and you can see that 3D path has been ready for the animation like this. So in order to access the animation window, you have to type A N I P any path and press enter. This will bring about the motion path animation window like this. So here in this, the first section has the link camera option. That means where do you want to link the camera to? You can link the camera to a point or to the path too. So let me go with the path and I will select this option to select the path. So this is our path which is available here and I will select it like this. So you can give the name if you want and press OK. Correct. Now your path has been set. The next one is target. That means where do you want to target the camera to? You can target the camera to a path or to a point. Let's start with a point like this. And I will go and select the point somewhere like this here. Now when you press OK, 
you can see that it's still selecting all the points as 0, 0, 0. Now it's an error which is happening in the software. So now if we continue in this condition, the camera will always point towards the origin like this. So better what we will be doing that, we will cancel this option from here and shift all our drawings selecting like this, press move command like this, selecting this base point from here. Now let me type 0, 0, 0 like this and press enter. So now you can see that the object has entirely moved towards the 0, 0, 0 with this base point. Now let's continue with the any path option and press enter. As you know the link the camera to the path, yes it's correct like this and press ok. The next one is link target to, I will link the target towards a point like this. It's already 0, 0, 0. Now I will go for the frames per second which determines the quality of the object and I will press 60 which is the highest value. Now for the duration, I will go with 30 seconds, correct. Now automatically it will set the number of frames too. The next one is visual styles. You can change the visual style to render like this. Let me select the format from WMV to AVI like this and I will change the resolution to the highest resolution which is available like this. Now let me check the preview so that it will show the camera moving like this. Now once you are selecting this camera, you will see the preview has been shown like this. Much better right? Now you can see that the camera is directly pointing towards this point which is the origin placed. Now if you are satisfied with the video, you can press escape and go for ok to save the video. Saving the video may take time according to the PC you are using. If you are using a fast PC, the rendering time will be less. For the time being, I will go with the cancel option and do the next type of video. Let me delete this path like this. I will draw a path exactly from the center like this. And make it straight like this. Clear. Let me select this and move it slightly like this. So that the line is passing exactly to the center like this. I will also draw another line like this and make my ortho mode on to have more convenient. I start from here, come over here and make it over here. Go through this center, come over here, going to the top, coming over here, come this side and going like this. Correct. Now. In order to make this entire lines to be a single line, we have to join it. So I will type J and press enter, join the entire lines so that it becomes a single 3D polyline. Now let's go for the any path that is A N I P and press enter. For the link camera too, I will go with the path which is this path like this. Okay. And for the target camera too. I am going with the path again, that means the camera will be looking with the path only. This shows the walkthrough video which we require in the civil drawings. For the frames per second, I will type 60 and for the duration again, I will type 30. For the display style, I will go with rendered, format AVI and resolution the higher one. When I go for the preview, you can see that the camera is moving inside the object like this and it will show only the path. Now in the path there is no object to be seen that's why there is no images available here. Once the camera is moving towards it you can see that it is walking inside the object like this. So this is how you create the walkthrough videos in AutoCAD. Consider I have a drawing like this. First of all I will move this object from its original point having this base point and moving towards the 0, 0, 0 point that is the origin. Right. Now let me draw the 3D polyline and press enter. So I can draw the path with which the animation can be done. Clear. So it will be much more easier and visible while making the animation correctly. Right. Now once the path has been done, I will go for any path like this and press enter. For the link camera too, I will go with this path. For the target, I will go with the point and I will select the origin which will be automatically selected 
like this correct now for the frames per second i will make it as 60 and duration i will make it as 60 again to have a much more lengthier video for the visual style i will go with rendered format avi and the resolution the higher one i'll go for the preview and select the camera like this so now you can see that you can get a preview of this video which is happening like this correct so this makes your object to be recorded as a video and you can display it to your client the design you have been made once you are satisfied with the video you can press ok to complete your recording so that's the end of this session and we hope you understood well keep posting your queries and feedback and for more videos log on to www.tutormatch.com thank you